anger. <coughs> no, screw you. I was seriously coughing. That hurt. <laughs> no, dude, that intro, I have, I have a seizure. Seizures are good for you, my friend. Anyway, hello, Calabunga, one and all, to Let's Fucking Play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 Turtles in Time on the Super Nintendo. <coughs> App. God damn this demo. <laughs> okay. This is Anthony. Let's playing one of the best games of all time. And when Fuego Fuego Hago Chego's back. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know it, bitch. Okay, so we're gonna do this one hard because science. Uh co change color mode to comic because Sorry. comic looks better. Wait, is I forget, isn't it like the different difficulties have different continuum amounts or something? Yes. Can you change it to be higher? Well, no, not the continues. What about, wait, what's rest then? Rest is, uh, the amount of li life. Turn that shit up. No, oh, screw you, we're doing that, we're doing this hardcore. <laughs> no, dude, if we wanted to do this hardcore, or then I wouldn't be here. <laughs> no, that, you being in here probably makes it easier, because now, you know, you know, without, without you, I wouldn't have to fight over the pizza with anyone. Well... Oh, fine, if me, yeah, if me being gone is gonna make it more hardcore, then I'll leave then. We'll see you later, guys. That's the end of the Let's Play! I knew you'd be back. Plot twist. Plot twist of Twizzler the movie. Damn, fuck. Mm. Okay, let's, let's, let's light this bitch. All right, I call Donatello. I'll be that guy. 16-bit cleavage. The fr it's the French. They have come to take it back. Oh, huh, we be. You don't. <laughs> well, we have come to reclaim what's ours, your American scum. <laughs> <laughs> and Raphael, the derpy eyes, is like, oh, what the <laughs> fuck happened? Was so that the, wor the World War equivalent of returning a gift to Walmart or something? <laughs> That'd be like Walmart taking it back. <laughs> Give me this. Yeah, like Walmart breaks into your house or something. <laughs> First level, construction site. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Now it's time to start up probably the best beat em up ever. Where you can throw people at the screen! Suck it every other game. You can slam people around. God, this game's awesome and brutal. Definitely one of Konami's best. And easily in the top three best Super Nintendo games ever. And the soundtrack of this game is awesome. Oh, yeah, I love the soundtrack for this game. Hey, sounds even better in Super Nintendo than it does in arcade. Yeah, I'll go as far as to say, I actually like the Super Nintendo version here better than the arcade version. Why? I don't know. I always found, even though I really love, even though beat em ups are one of my favorite genres, I always felt that arcade beat em ups, like, um, don't take the PT yet. Uh, I know. Uh, like, um, X Men, Simpsons, and Turtles, some, sometimes the hit detection wasn't the best. Compared to the console games here, like this Hyperstone heist. Dude, that guy, that one guy just totally missed me, and he just missed me again. What's he doing? Alright, here I come and get you. Oh, and I missed. I'll take the pizza, since someone doesn't eat pizza. I know, I don't like pizza. Queer-ass commie bastard. Someone went to the Joseph McCarthy School of Commie Hunting. See right there! Then, then now we got red foot soldiers. Talk about the red scare. <laughs> hey, Krang, how about you take down the whole construction site anyway? Now let me move even ever more so slowly. Okay, whatever. Wait, wait. wait, I have to get zapped. Dude, like, you see that tapping his toe? Even Leo's getting impatient. Yeah, let's cut that out. Oh! Alright, uh, I know honestly, who is working these wrecking balls? First of all, they're not doing jack shit to the, the shredder. I was about to say, who is, they're not doing jack shit to the um, uh, construction site, so how do you think it's supposed to take down buildings? Secondly, I bet it's just like a disgruntled employee or something. Or maybe he's drunk, he's like, yeah! The shredder's a disgruntled employee, that's his backstory in the new movie. <laughs> he's a disgruntled postal worker. <laughs> 
should make like a Grand Theft Auto or Sage Row game where like the post office is a dangerous place to be. Cause it's like if you flip, it's like you, you you flip off the one of the employees there and he immediately pulls out an assault rifle. <laughs> it's Baxter Stockman. Haha. -ha! Screw you and well, I just went off the edge. I almost went off the edge. Here I come, world! Ah! Ay, mi cabeza! Ah, damn it, said Baxter Stockman. At least Spanish now, all of a sudden. Nope, he's as white as you, you Irish prick. I have no idea what nationality you are, or ethnicity. I am Irish, you prick. <laughs> 40% in fact! Man, they, the alcoholics are houses more <laughs> Irish than you! <laughs> <laughs> Why does he explode? I blame my mom. <laughs> can you can you imagine? Can you imagine like so, uh, someone like uh, on the ground there when Baxter falls? Like like a bug just falls in their car? <laughs> uh, psh, <laughs> uh, and they're just, they're just like, don't do anything to it. They're just like meh. Just, Windshield wipers. <laughs> Stay cool. The Ninja Turtles in Escape from New York. <laughs> Would have made the movie a whole lot different. Forget the shredder, we gotta take out the Duke. So then who would the Duke be? <laughs> Just every I'm stuck, <laughs> dude. I'm stuck. Move down. <laughs> I know. It's it, what? Seriously, how are you stuck? I don't know. He's stuck in nothing. Stuck. <laughs> yeah, can't you fall down the manhole? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. It's just a mild annoyance. That pizza's got meatball! It's mine! Ugh. Oh crap. These things, it's perfect to- Damn it, I didn't mean, want to get that. It's perfect to do those attacks that hurt your, you for some reason against these things. Like, what is it? Ah, uh, it's, uh, it's B and Y. Yeah. Careful, they take off some of your health. I never understood that it's, in fighting it's games. It's fucking weird. It's like, it doesn't make sense at all. But I, I normally save them from when I'm fighting those roadkill Rodneys. Anything else? To jump a lot? No, I mean like for other enemies. Like, can you use them? Like yeah, 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 you can. But I, I usually don't. I like to kill. <laughs> I like to kill the roadkill Rodneys quickly, dude. I like how we were just smashing those guys in sync right there. <laughs> Put like big water ballet music to it. If you get two hundred every two hundred points, you get an extra life. I can barely tell how many points I have because your screen sucks. Like, the top half part is cut off, partially. Ah! <laughs> the hell was in that pizza? Meth. Lots and lots of meth. I'm not paying for that fire hydrant. Need it. He wanted the pizza. Oh, you can hit the manhole covers actually back towards them. You gotta time it right. It's a little harder to do than you think. There aren't that many regular attacks, but overall, this game's got a good variety of ways to counter th uh, people, which is why I think it's probably the best beat em up. Eh! What? Alright, here comes Metalhead. You mean you? I'm gonna mangle your, screen your green slime balls. Wait, wait, careful. Oh. Oh! Ay! Ouch! 
This guy's pretty easy. There's nothing much to say about his pattern. You just got, he, he normally does a lot of his attacks in threes. Except for that. Where I was standing in the beginning is a perfect way to catch him off guard right in the beginning of the fight. <laughs> and we should be dead. Well, I think that'll conclude part one. Join us again for part two, everyone.